Hey, hey, hey everybody, my name is Waddles, I hope you're doing well today, welcome to the video. Today I'll be showing you how to build a super easy and efficient cave spider farm. Uh, so, like I just mentioned, it's pretty easy to use. You won't get any poisoning, you'll get tons of XP, and you will, of course, get cave spider drops as well. Pretty much the only downside to this design is the fact that the spiders are not brought down to a one-hit kill. However, with an iron sword, cave spiders are two hits to kill on normal difficulty, which really isn't that bad. We will be going step by step in this video, but I will leave timestamps down below. This is a Bedrock Edition tutorial, but this should work on Java as well. This will also be working on pretty much every recent version of the Bedrock Edition. This includes all of the Village and Pillage updates and the updated Aquatic ones. So what do you need to collect up to build this farm? Well, the materials are actually pretty easy to get your hands on. Right here is everything you'll be needing. You will need exactly one chest, one hopper, and one iron trap door. I do recommend an iron trap door, but you could substitute a wooden one in. Uh, it just won't be as good. You'll also need some building blocks, some slabs, and then maybe some glass if you want, uh, but the glass is totally optional. The building blocks and slabs are totally your choice as well. You'll need to be ready to dig a little bit, and you will also need some water buckets as well. So go ahead and gather up the stuff, and then start looking for a cave spider spawner. If you enjoyed this tutorial or if it helps you out, please drop a like and subscribe. I do tons of tutorials all the time, and I am actually working on more Bedrock tutorials. On to step one. Of course, to start building this thing, you're going to need to head into a mineshaft and find a cave spider spawner. This design is for cave spiders after all. Usually, they're pretty easy to find. Uh, you're just looking for the cobweb infested hallway. Go ahead and go into this hallway and clear out the cobwebs. I recommend taking water and just kind of dumping it in the hull. But uh, be careful, on Bedrock Edition you can waterlog spawners, which could be really annoying. You could use the sword to clear out the cobwebs as well. Clear this whole area out and make sure it's nice and bright so you don't have tons and tons of spider spawns. So here we go, we have something that's cleared out a little bit. Now it's time to start doing some digging. The dimensions you're going to need are four out from the spawner in every direction except for one. In one direction you will want six blocks out from your spawner. So let's say I want this to be the front of my thing. We'll go six blocks out from the spawner here and then on every side we'll go four blocks out. So go ahead and dig out all of that space so you have a rectangle shaped room. In terms of the height, you'll want your ceiling to be one block above the spawner, so you'll actually need to fill in some blocks. The floor of this room that you're digging should be two blocks below the spider spawner. Be very, very careful not to destroy the spawner, because if you break this thing, it's gone. You can't get it back, so be very, very careful. And finally, I do recommend throwing a slab, any kind of slab, on top of your spawner in this step. This will help prevent cave spiders from idling around on top of the spawner. And remember that while clearing out this room, areas are going to get dark, so make sure you have plenty of torches on hand because uh, you probably don't want these cave spiders spawning and bothering you while you're building. So here we go, my room has now been all dug out. If you haven't done so yet, go ahead and close off this room uh, to the mineshaft. So, you know, something like this I'd want to block off because we don't want spiders coming in here. But uh, do leave a way in and out of here because we'll be coming back into this room. Next, we need to do some counting. You'll want to count seven blocks from the back of your room, which is the side opposite uh, the six far off wall. So, you know, front over here, back over there. You can either count this or just drop some water down and then break that final block. That would be the eighth block. Go ahead and pick the water back up if you did put the water down. What we'll be doing here is actually lowering the floor on the front of this room just a little bit more. After lowering the front floor just a little bit, head towards the front of the room, which I have now actually closed off, and dig out the block that is even with your feet. After digging that block out, you'll want to dig three more blocks down. I do recommend making a staircase so you can access this area. We're making a trench to move all of the spiders over to one side so we can farm them easily. This trench should be 10 blocks long. However, after your fifth block, you'll want to drop down one more block and continue over. So basically, we have a trench that is three or four blocks deeper than the floor to our spawner room. 
So go ahead and pause the video and copy the trench, get all this digging done, um, or don't because we have one more digging step. After that 10th block, you'll want to continue digging and make a room. This room is going to be your spider farming room, so where you're going to stand to kill the spiders. Set up whatever you'd like in this room, maybe a storage system, an enchantment setup, whatever you really want, and the room can be however large you want. To make things easier on you, you'll want the floor of your room one block lower than the four deep part of your trench so basically when you're done you'll have something that looks kind of like this now <laughs> my room is uh pretty small pretty boring but it'll do for now this is just an example let's set up the grinding part of this design now take out what would be the 11th block of your trench and place a chest down Climb into the trench and take out the 10th block and place a hopper facing into your chest. On top of your chest, you're going to want a trap door. This is the iron trap door, but it could be replaced with a wood one. I do recommend the iron trap door, though. That's actually it over here. Uh, now, I'm going to pause this tutorial right here really quick for just a moment. For this next step, you will need to be quick. If you are not quick, spiders will be released everywhere, so... If you don't think you can be quick, block off the room and then dig your way back out. We are about to take out all of the torches, get the water in, and that type of thing. So just remember, uh, you need to be quick, uh, and if you can't, close off the room and dig your way out after. Uh, so with this out of the way, we have one final step before we actually start the spawner. Climb back into your spawning room and place a slab, any kind of slab, on that top half of the lower block that you dug out. So you have this half slab gap of an opening above your trench. This will allow cave spiders to fall down into your trench and it will prevent the water from spilling into your trench. You could replace these slabs with signs or something like that, something that stops water. I'm just going with slabs because after digging this room, I would have a lot of slabs. Climb down into your trench and place one water source at the far back corner of the trench so the water pours towards your little killing setup over here. Now it's time to remove the torches and get this whole thing working. Uh, be very, very careful when you're doing this. Uh, you will probably want to weigh up and down here, but place water at the far back side of your room and try to punch out all of the torches. The torches are, of course, stopping the spawn, so we don't want those. Uh, you're going to need to be pretty fast about this because cave spiders will start spawning. If you have a staircase going down into your trench, make sure you fill that back in. Go back to where you'll be farming the spiders and quickly place a slab on the top half of the block above the hopper, just like I've done here, and then block in all of the other blocks with something. It could be glass, maybe not, it's totally up to you. Uh, I like the glass so I can kind of see in here. That is actually your whole spider farm. The last step right there, what I just did, is difficult. You'll need to be fast because spiders will start spawning. After being in your room for a while, you should start to notice the spiders are pouring down into the stream here and then starting to pile up over here. You can AFK for a while and continue to kill spiders. If you're setting this design up for more AFKing, I would recommend extending this trench further away. Do keep in mind you need to be within 16 blocks of your spawner for the spawner to actually spawn spiders. But that's just about it, actually. So go ahead and decorate up your room however you'd like, and then you're good to start grinding and collecting up all of your spider eyes, your string, and of course, your experience. If you have any questions, definitely throw them down in the comments below, or slide into my Danger Chat Discord, which is linked in the description, and ask them there. I'm Waddles. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please drop a like and subscribe. All of my links can be found down below in the description. If you really love what I do and you'd like to support me directly, I do have a Patreon where you can do so. If you decide to pledge, you will gain access to the DangerCraft patron server, among other things. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Go have a good day. Goodbye, everybody.